I bid you welcome, or welcome back. Now, generally I always start my videos with a really long intro where I just keep explaining what I will do in the video, but let's just jump right into what I wanted to do and I will explain it along the way. What are we going to paint today? I haven't painted any animals in a while and I painted a bear exactly once back in 2021 so I decided let's give it another go and paint a bear today and not just any ordinary bear I want to paint a polar bear and you know where do you find polar bears generally around the arctic and you know what is the kind of weather that you have around the arctic it's generally you know snow and snowstorm and i was thinking about this whole concept and yes snowstorm that's it i want to make a polar bear in a snowstorm that would really be amazing and i also don't want to just restrict myself to a polar bear i want to make an arctic rabbit at the same time so i want the horizon to be somewhere around here now i want a polar bear somewhere around here like this is going to be the head of the polar bear and we will have the have the first two limbs in the air as it's turning away because there will be a little hill here like a snow hill and on top of the hill let's put here a little arctic rabbit there you go and here just put another one and these arctic rabbits are going to be throwing snowballs at the at the polar bears so like here's one snowball here's another snowball there's one like bursting on the head of the polar bear as it's being hit little snow particles flying all over the place put some here as well i want some snowy mountains in the background like let's put something like here one no it's a little bit lower than that yes put another snowy mountain here and i want some white clouds that are coming with the snowstorm so let's just okay this is going to be one outline of a cloud and this is going to be the other one and i also want to add a bunch of uh, flying snowflakes to the scene so let's just mark in a few of these and yeah like that's that's roughly what i want this picture to be now what you have to pay attention to i actually found a few reference pictures by the way all of these pictures are from wikipedia so you can find them as well if you want what you really have to pay attention to is that the polar bear has these eyes and the snout that are really dark and the same thing happens with the arctic rabbit but they also have these little black stripes on the top of the ears so let's pay attention to add all of those now here we have the head of the polar bear and that's gonna be one eye and the other one here because he's like turning towards the rabbits and we will have the snout here there we go a little bit of an indication of the mouth just put in the black part of the ear as well a little bit closer to the eyes and uh, let's go for the rabbits now this is like one rabbit's eyes and here are the others maybe i will put a third one here and let's do the like snout of the rabbit do rabbits have snouts is it what they are called i'm not entirely sure but like you know the nose and the mouth area of the rabbits that are that are really dark here's one as well and don't forget about the ears of the rabbits so here's like one ear that's too big one ear of the rabbit and the other ear and here we go with the other two and yes that is pretty much it like we completed the piece of the arctic rabbits throwing snowballs at the polar bear in the snowstorm and uh, i hope you enjoyed it and uh thank you very much for watching yes of course it's a joke what what did you expect it's an april's fools video you mean like actually put in more effort like is that going to make it funnier Thank you so much non-existent person outside of the frame hey it's me after completing this piece at least one version of it i wanted to make a full tutorial style video about how exactly i made this piece but i didn't manage to do it because i started way too late what i managed to do however is completing a rough version of this piece in about two and a half hours so at least the joke is not fully lost here so i scrapped all the commentary and made this voiceover just uh, in a few words about how how exactly you can make a real piece of a polar bear in a snowstorm that isn't a white piece of paper so here are three tips on how you can do that number one 
White is never just white. The snow and ice in a scene, even the darker parts of clouds and objects are tinted blue in a scene, where we have an open sky that can provide everything with blue light. Unless something catches enough direct sunlight or any other light to appear actually white or other color, you will have a lot of that sky color in the scene both directly reflected and as bounce light on characters on objects like on the polar bear. The bear itself also has a non fully white fur, making it appear yellow and brown in the darker areas while you would still recognize it as white. Number 2. Atmospheric perspective. In a foggy environment, or actually anywhere if there is an atmosphere, you will see water molecules in the air that will both reflect the light of the environment and block your line of sight if there is enough space between you and an object. Where I used the most on this piece was how the rabbits are partially obscured secured by the color of the environment, while the bear that is closer to the viewer appears much more colorful and less muted. This gives depth to the piece and also tells you a lot about the actual environment. Number 3 composition work. In reality many times different objects align in a way that makes them blend into their surrounding, but in your own world that you are creating on the two dimensional plane you can do whatever you want. The flying snowball can't blend into the white fog if the cloud's dark part is directly behind it. The exposed fur of the bear can't blend into the snow on the ground if there's a shadow of a snow pile that brings out that silhouette. Snowflakes that wouldn't be visible because of the exposure of the entire environment are going to start showing up against the darker parts of the piece. I really wanted to make this video properly and it didn't turn out the way I wanted. The piece itself is also, well, I'll give it a 2 out of 10. It's good enough for a weak joke, but not for much more, unfortunately. I didn't look up what others did with this topic. I'm certain many people made a polar bear in a sense a storm, not sandstorm, what is it called, in a snowstorm or similar things, but here's my take on the topic. As always, thank you very much for watching, have a nice day, create something even if it's a failed April's Fool's project, but most importantly, don't forget to have fun while doing that. Farewell.